Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm so sorry. I have been missing in action and it's like, try as I might, it's like one thing after another, it seems to me anyway. So, um, I really had all good intentions. I was going to shoot a video over the weekend. I never, I never did that. I have a couple of videos in edit mode. I never had time to do that. I just have been like, it's been a crazy time frame right now. And I think, you know, my mother's going through some uh, health issues. And so I've been taking her for iron infusions. And um, even though they're, they're an hour each, there's five of them, right? And they're spread out over a week and a half. And even though they're an hour in e each, they take like about three hours easy to do you know by the time i get down there get my mother go over there get settled in she has the infusion then we you know we go to leave and then we get back it's like it, it's almost it it feels sometimes like it's a half a day so i've been taking her out to lunch um in the morning once we've been going out to lunch i took her shopping twice so she was able to do some groceries and stuff like that and she did really well so that's good i'm very optimistic that this is going to help her because she's super anemic right now. And, um, and so that's just been really, um, very, very time consuming that on top of working full time, as you can imagine, right? The time constraints are very difficult when you, when you have a full time job and you are trying to, you know, maintain your sanity, <laughs> your, your life, your home, um, and all of that. But, so no excuse other than life gets in the way. And I also struggle with the fact that makeup is makeup and real life is real life. And sometimes, you know, you make that decision. I, I look at some of the makeup and I'm like going, ah, oh, it's boring or the skincare after a while. And, and I struggle with being like super boring. Like who's going to care about what lipstick I'm wearing or not, you know, type of thing. And in reality, when there's, and I know my channel is not really that way, but in reality, there's there's so many more deeper things to have conversations about, you know, struggling about taking care of your elderly parents, um, being in retirement age and still having to work full time. And now, of course, with the economy the way it is, it, it's, it's scarier because I had thought, you know, perhaps next year on my birthday, I could work more part time hours. But with the economy, it's it's super frightening. I mean, I don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods, but, you know, where I am, it, our electric um, company starting in August is doubling our fees for our electricity and gas prices are sky high and food prices. So, you know, we're thinking about economy, um, but still living, you know, I still have to drive to work at times and I still have to drive down to my mother's and there's still things that require getting in the car and driving somewhere that requires gas. So, and you still have to have that balance. And so sometimes I struggle with that balance of being a good daughter, a good, a good uh, mom, a good wife, a good employee, and relaxing and having fun for myself. So I, I struggle with that balance sometimes. So that said, this past weekend, you will, you guys all know it was Father's Day, right? And so Jay went golfing Saturday, Sunday morning. He went golfing. He does this every Sunday that he can. And as long as we're, you know, able to do it and he can afford it and, you know, we can afford it and all that, uh, it's a great relaxation for him. So he did his golf on Sunday and um, we ended up later in the day, we hemmed and hawed. <laughs> we weren't really too sure what the heck we wanted to do, right? So we hemmed and hawed. And uh, later in the day, we ended up going to the Sandcastles, the um, the Hampton Beach, I think it was the 21st or 22nd annual sand sculpture um, classic contest. And so we went up there and, and we may, we, I'm not a big fan of going up on Sunday, especially Father's Day, because there's usually heavy, heavy traffic. And uh, officially, they've already done the judging and all that stuff. So there's tons of more people looking at the sandcastles. So, um, but it was, it was cold out and it was overcast so we said okay heck why not so we did we went to Hampton Beach it was beautiful I'm going to superimpose some some clips when I edit this so you can see you know maybe just a couple of minutes of me and uh, not me but of us walking around looking at the sand castles and and there was a number of people there but it wasn't super crowded 
So I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> I know, I kind of like that one. Yeah. This is really cool. Governor's Choice. <laughs> Superhero. Slaying the dragon. <laughs> Details amazing. And then Saturday, I forgot to mention Saturday, we did the most awesome bike ride. So Friday, my mother had her second infusion and um and that seemed to go really well and, and i talked to her saturday and and you know everything was fine so jay and i took our bikes we took our e-bikes and went down to salem where my mother lives and we went into derry into the derry the town of derry and the town of Wyndham, and the town of salem have interconnecting uh bike trails off-road uh you do have some road crossings but most of them off-road very scenic very nice places so we actually did that and, and then we ended up going all the way down to this place called tuscan village which is sort of a, a live play and work community where they have condos and they have stores and you know and they have gro grocery restaurants and all that stuff and outdoor entertainment so we went there and we sat down and jay ended up having a beer and popcorn <laughs> but we sat outside and we vegged out and then we rode back to our car. It was about 22, 23 miles we did that day, which was really the first long ride for me this this season in one in one stretch. So um, that was really that was really good. And so that was our Saturday. So instead of me filming Saturday morning, I chose to do uh, wife, you know, go out with Jay, um, you know, just take some downtime and do something that I really enjoyed because it was like a crazy, crazy week. And, um, and then of course, Sunday, the sandcastles are really awesome. So we've also been working on, some of you know that my dad had a machine shop and he had it in the barn attached to our house. So Jay and I live in a very small, modest home. It's actually a Sears and Robux catalog home that was I think the uh, farmer owner purchased it in 1924 or something like that. It came off a train track, train wreck. It was in a train wreck and he got a great deal on it. Anyways, so, um, so, you know, over the years it's been modified. We've had additions and all that stuff. And one of the things that it has is a big a barn and the barn was converted to a machine shop where my dad ran his machine shop for 50 years. And Jay and I never wanted to go in there and take anything out after my dad retired. He kept saying, eh, come up, and it just never happened. I know some of you know the whole story. So um, long, very long story short, uh, we had started to tackle this project last year, and it's been astronomical, and this year full force. So um, we've both been out there working our buns off, you know, cleaning, getting rid of stuff, moving workbenches, barrels and barrels and barrels of metal and stuff like that. So we've got it to the point where it is other than three workbenches that we decided we were going to keep. They're a rough shape, but we, you know, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a garage. It's not going to be living space. So, um, <clears throat> we decided we we're going to keep those. We had the whole place emptied out and we had a concrete person we had some estimates in concrete, and I didn't realize how expensive that would be. But we had a concrete person come and pour concrete yesterday. Whew. So we got that done. Now it's drying, and we have to replace two windows and two doors. A door and probably the, the front door out in the shop, and then we'll be able to you know, be able to put stuff in there, like all the stuff that people normally have in their garage, we have in our basement. And so we'll be able to utilize that as storage space, which will then allow us to really declutter the house, um, which we've been doing for the last few years and finish the attic that we started because we never finished that. So that would be the project. Um, I'd love to sell the house. You know, I'd love, I would love to sell the house and live in the motorhome full time. A motorhome is old. It only has one slide. It's small, has a lot of drawbacks in that sense, but man, 
I would, if I could convince Jay to sell the house and um, let's just go live in a motorhome and um, I would do it. But he's not with me on that at this point in time. And I think, you know, you, you got to both be in the same um, in the same, you know, on the same page when it comes to that. So I'm, I'm right now sitting in the car, I'm getting ready to go. And I just thought I would try to shoot this video really quick. I, I was going to do a car vlog and I just, I just get too nerved up driving and shooting. So I'm still sitting out, turn this around so you can see where I'm at. So yeah, so if you look out, you can see <laughs> my house, you can see, uh, you know, it's just hip roof, very small old home and then I've got the big barn and got my motor home right there so yeah that's what I'm kind of like looking at you know and I'm gonna get ready to um to rock and roll yeah get ready to rock and roll right uh rock and roll to work is what I'm gonna get ready to do so I've got I've got um a couple of things this morning that I'm gonna work on a presentation for Friday and I also have a class this afternoon. My Mohs surgery is tomorrow morning at seven thirty. I go in and I don't I don't know how it's you know, I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know anything about it yet. Of course they have to keep going until they have the clear margin. So I've been pretty stressed out. I got a new C B D product, which I'll enclose this picture on. Um I got it from Octoly and um, I, I I can't really do a full review on it yet because I, I don't know, but it's, it's sort of more of a relaxation gummies. I do like gummies. So I've been, I've been, I've been trying it and I've been researching some of the ingredients in it, but um, yeah, this was sent to me complimentary, you know, from the company via Octoly network. I'll leave all the information below, but it's definitely relaxes me. I think I'm going to take it tomorrow morning before my surgery. So anyways, you know, here it is a video of nothing, right? Just me jabbering. Um, yeah. So when I, you know, when I get in, hopefully I can get my presentation done on Friday. The thing I'm super worried about, about my Mohs surgery is the location. I probably will not be able to wear glasses, right? So I, I, I'm like thinking I'm gonna. I have a class to teach Friday on Zoom, which I may postpone it only because I don't know. The doctor has prepared me for being quite swollen, so some people even get black eyes. So how swollen I am, but they've all said I'm not going to be able to wear my glasses and I don't have contact. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see. And my mother has her fourth treatment tomorrow afternoon as well. And I had planned on taking her. Her treatment is at 2.30. And then I'm thinking, now Jake's a backup, but she would prefer that I took it. My sister's out of town, so she can't take her. So my mother would prefer that I do it. But Jay's a backup. And I said to my mom, I said, I don't know how, I'm, how long it's going to be in the morning, how I'm going to feel. And I do know, number one, I'm probably not going to be able to see that well. So anyways, whether I take my mother tomorrow or not, I don't know. But Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that's tomorrow. Everything on Wednesday, you know, I'm like, holy mackerel. I didn't want to have to do that. And, and, um, this late in the season, you know, but where it was canceled from June 1st, I didn't have any choice really to take, to do it. I wanted to get it done. And then we have, of course, July, 4th of July coming up. We're going camping and keep your fingers crossed. Uh, the price of diesel is crazy. And I think I mentioned after our Memorial Day camp out that we did. That's the only time we've been out so far this year is Memorial Day. Um, we made a decision that we were going to top off our diesel fuel after every trip. So that it wouldn't be like all of a sudden we're filling it 50 gallons, you know, or 100 gallons or whatever. I don't even know how many gallons it takes. So, you know, we've got a full thing of fuel, but we have... Um, we have 4th of July coming up and then we have Bar Harbor, which is the August trip. So, yeah. Mm. And it's diesel fuel. So it's worse than gasoline. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's really that's really all about me right now. Is That's real, my update. Really a lot about nothing. I'm really worried about my Mo's and I'm worried about how that whole day is going to proceed, how I'm going to look. On the 25th, my sister's having a birthday party, which I probably am not going to go to for her granddaughter. Um, and I also have my mother-in-law coming up 
but she's not going to come to New Hampshire. She's going to arrive in Massachusetts on the 25th, but she won't come up to New Hampshire until the 8th. So by that time, hopefully I won't be as swollen. Oh my gosh. I don't know, guys, you know, how do you juggle it all? Do you, do you ever get to the point where you just feel like you can't juggle it all? Or you feel like, I don't know if I, I'm disappointing myself or if I'm just disappointing other people, but I just feel like I'm such a big disappointment in the sense that I can't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm giving everything my all. I feel like I, I'm depleted. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. You know, I just feel like there's more I could do or should do or, or am expected to do. And I, I'm just depleted. I'm just depleted. And I keep trying to rejuice myself and, you know, recharge myself. And I just think that right now, the, you know, a lot of, a lot of everything, I know you guys are all going through it too. A lot of everything just weighs us all down, you know, retirement. Hello. <laughs> My 401k in the, is in the tubes is in the tank. So anyways, I'm going to stop complaining and I'm going to probably shut this down and, um, Oh, it's my arm is shaking holding the selfie stick. I was going to put it on the dashboard. I got to get maybe a webcam that works really good on my car so I can do some chit chatting. But that's it. I'm just going to upload this really quick. Probably you'll see it Wednesday morning or tonight, Tuesday, depending. And just to give you that update. So I'm alive and well. I know many of you have sent me messages. I have totally ignored my Instagram page. Totally ignored it. Um, really terrible. I am ashamed of myself, <laughs> but wanted to give you that update. Things will get better. I know that'll improve for all of us. So I'm just going to work on my attitude as much as possible and try to get into the groove. So next time you see me, I'll probably have a honker bandaid on. Anyways, bye guys.